All right, so here we are. Operation Deadly Omen is here in Rainbow Six Siege, and here is the full battle pass. Uh, this battle pass will have been provided to me by Ubisoft, so thank you very much, and for full disclosure. Um, but it will not affect my opinion of the battle pass. I am going to give my honest opinion on the entire pass. So um, let's go through every tier, see what we get. Uh, so tier 1 right here, it shows a Capital headgear. I actually think that's wrong. Usually tier 1's a bundle for the operator, so I assume that's going to be like a little default bundle for Deimos. So I don't think that's a Capital headgear. I think that's a little bug. Uh, but let's move along. We've got a Bravo pack. We have a player card for Rook, kind of showing you what one of the sets are going to look like in this battle pass. And so if you can't tell, we actually are going to have a proper headgearless headgear for Rook. Of course, he kind of had his face revealed in his elite skin, but this is a little bit different to that. And, you know, speak of the devil, here it is. Really, really cool headgear. A little message from Zero. Of course, I'll do that in my Battle Pass lore video that will come tomorrow. We're just going to look at the skins in this one, but there is the Rook headgear. Probably my favorite headgear for Rook right now because you can just use this with every single uniform and it's going to look absolutely sick. And let's just keep making our way up. So we have this uniform to match that headgear. Again, pretty cool. It's a Viper Strike one. Uh, kind of looks like uh, his default but this is like on that mission he went in the cinematic when him rook sorry him doc and sam fisher fought deimos so it's kind of like his default version but that's where deimos shot him in the chest plate there of course you got viper strike added to it since that's the squad he's in so a really nice sort of twist on his default look he's all uh you know dirtied up he's got blood all over him absolutely really nice uniform for rook i wish they would do that more of some of the operators it's not even like a recolor. They just made his default one look different. I like that quite a bit. Um, weapon skin, nothing too special in my opinion. I think a lot of the weapon skins are kind of just like meh, hit or miss. I'm not really going to dwell on that too much. Uh, Battle Pass Boosters. Here is a universal background. This is pretty cool. Locker room. Uh, you got the board over there. Deimos' board. See his shotgun. I think that's Buck's rifle and the shotgun that Legion has. It's a pretty nice background. I think that's going to look nice with a lot of um, a lot of player cards. Nice. Got some R6 credits. Uh, Bravo packs, by the way, have a brand new look for this year. Look at that. Year 9 Bravo packs look absolutely sick. That's very nice. Keep making our way down. we got, of course, a Beach and Charge. Alpha packs. This uniform for Blackbeard. It's alright. Not the best. Probably won't run that. I think there's nicer skins for Blackbeard. Our six credits, another Bravo pack. Here's the headgear for Blackbeard. This one's all right. Is uh, he's getting a bit of gray in his beard, so you know Blackbeard getting a little bit older by the looks of it. Uh, of course, he's getting a, a full rework in season four, so that's quite interesting for him to get skins in here. Here's a weapon skin for him. Uh, you know what? It's kind of basic, but I actually really like the the rainbow logo. That looks that's pretty cool. A very basic skin for a lot of people, but I, I like the addition of the little rainbow logo on it. Uh, here's a player guard for Blackbeard as well. Again, noticeably missing the rifle shield, which, I don't know, is that a hint to what we're going to be getting in um, in Season season 4? I also did just notice he does have the Red Hammer squad logo on him. So it is nice that they're incorporating a lot of them. There's rainbow down there. It's nice that they're incorporating the squad logos more on these uniforms. So, you know, that skin has just went up a little bit for me there. Uh, we have this little charm. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And this background, which is quite nice as well. The background art is quite decent. I still think these are not the best quality. This one doesn't look as bad as previous ones, but for the most part, Battle Pass uh, player cards aren't the best. We have Renown Booster. We have this little charm. Pretty cool. Another little universal background. Quite simple, but, you know, I, I like that one. I think it's... It's not, there's not too much going on. It's going to go well with a lot of them. Uh, we have this seasonal weapon skin, which is pretty bad, if I'm not going to lie. Not really a massive fan of that. That's um, that's the same logo, which was on the the reveal charm for watching like the new season reveal. I kind of just slapped it on a white canvas and called it a day. Yeah, that's not great in my opinion. Um, so we have more Bravo. We'll head back up this way and we'll come back down there. More Bravo packs more alpha packs another universal skin which seems to be the american flag this looks like something you'd have got back in year one and year two i guess i guess it's all right if you're if you're a patriot or something like that but yeah 
Not 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 great. Bravo pack. Uh, this is fun. I like this. Deimos mask with some handcuffs. That's good. that's a fun little charm. I like that. Of of course, since Deimos is in Rainbow's custody right now, that's what that charm's representing. Um, Osa has a bundle here. It's not the worst. I actually kind of like that a little bit. Definitely better than her default look. I think Osa... I love Osa as a character and as an operator. But I think her default look is not great. And we also have this headgear, which is meh, not the best. I like the uniform, though. Uh, Battle Pass points. We have this Doc uniform, which is a recolor of one of his older ones. But I'm not complaining because it's absolutely sick. Uh, let's see. We got Wolfguard. Yep. Wolfguard little badge on him. Really nice, really nice. I'm fine with recolors like this as long like I think I'm getting a bit tired of the default skins getting recolored. This isn't a default skin, so I'm fine with it being a recolor, if that makes sense. But like a lot of the other skins in this game where they'll just take the default operator's look and change the color, I'm getting a bit tired of. Uh Bravo Pack, here's the matching headgear. This is another recolor, but again, uh it's better than his default recolor, so. Pretty nice. Of course, uh Doc still hurt as well it seems like i guess that bullet that was shot in his face actually grazed his cheek see some stitches there uh of course i will get into the uh battle pass lore tomorrow this is really nice simply just the rainbow logo as a charm this is what the in-universe rainbow logo looks like you you know the one of just a six with a gun in it that's um that's just for, like for the franchise in our world for like Ubisoft's franchise, but in the universe, this is what Team Rainbow's logo looks like. I really like that. I, 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 not a lot of people will appreciate that charm, but if you're a lore enjoyer like myself, we're gonna love that one. Uh, Lion with yet another set because Ubisoft seem to absolutely just love giving Lion a skin every single season. It is cool. It's got like little Deimos themes across it. Um, I, I do like that there's some doc interaction in the lore bit. I'll read more of that. I keep saying it in tomorrow's video, uh, but yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's alright. It's not my favourite. Uh, I kind of wish more operators would get skins other than Lion every single time, because, I don't know, I think he's getting a bit tired, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we have an Azami one. Azami headgear. Got some eyeshadow one. I don't think she has that on the other headgears. And we also have the uniform as well. It's like a web. Not bad, not bad. Not really sure what the theme is, but it's not the worst. Right, let's uh, move along. We'll move along this way. Okay, okay, whoa. This is a lot to uh, break down. So for starters, this headgear does not match this by any stretch of the imagination. This is Jaeger. They, I, I, okay. That's very interesting uniform. Let's look at the headgear that matches that because that one definitely doesn't. Oh, that looks like a, that looks like a, a Deimos sort of mask, you know? I, obviously, this isn't a lore skin. This is like just one of the fictional cool ones, but that's a really sick set for Jaeger. That headgear is really funny. Hold up. Give me two seconds and let me cook. Let's go back to the battle pass. Where are we? Okay, I didn't cook as much as I thought I, I did, but, you know, there's a look at that uniform. That kind of looks sick. I like that a lot. And, uh, yeah, of course, you have got the headgear as well. Uh, we have Bravo Pack, once again. A weapon skin for the 417 DMR. Uh, shall we head up this way? No, we'll head down this way and make our way... Actually, we'll do this. Uh, universal background of a grave. Rest in peace, Harry, I guess. Uh, and the player card for Jaeger. That's sick. That's a cool Jaeger set. I like that. They kind of cooked there. They kinda, like they took like a, a Deimos mask and messed around with it. And we got that sick set for Jaeger. Yeah, that's really cool. I think that's going to be a highlight for the uh, Battle Pass for a lot of people. We have Bravo Packs. Uh, Battle Pass Booster. A Universal Drone Skin. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. A headgear from Mira. I'm pretty sure she got one last battle pass as well, didn't she not? Hmm. Okay. 
Uh, alpha pack. Another mirror uniform to match that. I'm, what, what? I'm... Am I missing something? I'm not sure what this theme is. I'm not sure what this logo represents. It was on that drone as well. Maybe it's nothing, but... Ma Ma Maestro is looking old. He is... They're, they're aging a lot of the operators, which is quite interesting because they kind of would have, like, avoid that because it's a life service game. They don't want a lot of operators getting too old. But, you know, Blackbeard's getting a bit grey. Maestro's looking old. He's got, gone full grey and everything. So it seems like the operators are actually aging a little bit. That's really cool. That's a really nice headgear. I like that. Um, here's the matching uniform as well. It's a really nice uniform. With all his uh, badges and medals on it. So yeah, because obviously you can see Maestro's beard is usually black like that one. So Maestro getting a bit of age on him. Makes sense. Uh, here's another one. Again, am I, I, I'm not sure what this logo is. Maybe it's something I've missed. Uh, but I'll maybe look into that more in the lore video. Bravo pack, alpha pack, uh, attachment skin, just for Jaeger. Uh, that's alright. And I don't really like that some attachment skins are like only for one gun. Because I feel like it's just a bit of a wasted opportunity. Just make them universal. Uh, here is the charm to match that Jaeger set. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's only so much I can say about charms. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you, you know, will only run like your favorite content creator's charm or like a rank charm. This is a cool weapon skin. Got an animated one. Stock back there is looking a little bit different. Got this like, I don't know what you call it. Animated ooze going through it. Pretty cool. Not bad at all. I, I like that Jaeger set. You know, I, I'm of course more inclined to like the lore stuff, but... If you're gonna if you're gonna make a set like that, you know I'll take it too. Uh, here we have another universal. Again, not great. Uh, a bit a bit lazy, dare I say. I can't really see a lot of people using that unless you're a fan of Red Lobster. Uh, let's keep moving up. R4C weapon skin. Again, nothing special. I think a lot of these wep wep weapon skins are a bit of just you know filler. Bravo pack. Uh, eh, eh, alpha pack, a weapon skin for the AK. Now, obviously, this is more themed towards uh, Deimos than it is Nomad, since Deimos does have the AK. Speak of the devil, here's Deimos. Got the little bit of a, a greener mask going on. Some green bits at the top. Not, not, not bad. I'll probably still run the default on him. Here is his uniform. I guess they're going for the more classical pre demos look for Gerald here. You know, you got like the like US uh, badges and stuff like that. Obviously back in his rainbow days and before that. Pretty cool. I think if we, I think one day we're, we will definitely get a maskless headgear for Deimos. So like a uniform like this is going to go really hard and it's going to be like, maybe they'll go like the route with the elite skin by making him young Gerald Morris just like what they've done with Zero and Kaid. So yeah. Bravo pack. Uh background. This is gonna look sick with Mozzie and Gridlock. That's gonna be a really nice background. I like that. The backgrounds in this battle pass are really good. Whoever's doing the battle uh whoever's doing the backgrounds, good job. Um yeah Mozzie's gonna look sick with that one. Here's another drone skin. Oh wait actually we already looked at this didn't we? I think we already saw that drone skin. Or did I? Oh, no, I got a bit confused because they've got the same bio. <laughs> okay, so we haven't seen that drone skin. They just have, they've put the same bio by Pulse in both of them. So there's another drone skin. What is this might be? Like a, like a cassette player or something like that? Stereo on the go? I, th I think so. There we go. It's like, a, it's like a pin badge you'd buy from Hard Rock Cafe. That's quite funny, because they're talking about Deimos has great taste in music. Uh, Gerald Morris. Uh, you know, his bio, if you saw my video about his lore, he had antique collections of uh, blues memorabilia. So that's a nice little touch there. Uh, attachment skin. Of course, not this weapon skin. This is Glacier. That being said, this attachment skin goes perfect with Glacier. Can we just appreciate that? Look at that. That's really nice. Very cool, very cool. Uh, where were we? Uh, did I show this weapon skin off? There we go. 
Um, Ash Hagir. Meh. Nothing really much to say there. Ash is out of her coma, though, so I am going to be very interested in reading her bio. But that is not a, not a great skin, in my opinion. Let's head back up this way and loop around. Alpha pack. We have a weapon skin for the DMR for Maverick and Tuberau. Bravo pack. Attachment skin. Decently cool, decently cool. Doesn't really match the weapon uh, it's showcasing there, but... Maverick player card. Here's his uniform. Again, a, a recolor I don't really think people are going to be too bothered about. That's a fun little bio. It's alright. Not the best skin. Bravo pack. A uh, very weird weapon skin for the M4. It's not the worst. Interesting. I, I kind of like that bit. Kind of like what they went for there. But, um, I think, if I'm not wrong, that is the battle pass. Yeah, that seems to be it. So, not bad. Not a bad battle pass, really. I think it's got it's got a decent amount of duds. Like, the, the universal skins are very, very mid. Like, they're not even mid, actually. They're just bad. The rook set's really nice. Uh, all the backgrounds look sick. The player card quality is starting to look better. Like, this one for Blackbeard ain't bad. It's, it's not as good as other ones, but it's not the worst. So they're pretty good. Charms are charms. Uh, yeah, you know, I, th I think you can only get so hyped for charms. Dog set's pretty good. Osa set is alright, not the best. It looks like she's part of Red Hammer with that set. The Azami set is okay. Lions, meh. Not a great set. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of Lion getting sets as well. There's another mid one. Jaeger set's amazing. That's great. Um, Ash set's bad. The Maverick set is meh as well. Deimos one's pretty cool. I like the uniform. I don't think it matches with the headgear. I'd like a massless headgear to match that. Uh, it's cool that Maestro's got like a a grey one. I like that. I don't know. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. I think there's enough good items in this to warrant its purchase. I think uh, that, that Jaeger set on its own probably will do it for a lot of people. Doc set's great. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good battle pass. So be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Drop a like on this video and subscribe for more Rainbow Six content. Have a great rest of your day. I love you all. Stay safe. Peace.